What's up, YouTube? Peace, Hotep, the black man is God. Today, I'm making a video because I just got the news, or it was yesterday that I got the news that your boy Attica, a world-famous YouTuber, was found dead. And uh, I kind of followed his his work a little bit. Not not too much, but I, I, I know of him. And then when they when I seen a video like two days ago that said RIP Etika, I thought it was just some kind of a joke. You know how YouTubers they like go back and forth with each other and whatever. I just thought whatever. There was just some kind of a new meme with Etika. But then I seen another guy post something about Etika RIP and I'm like, hold up, is Etika really dead? And I didn't know that there was he was going through this whole mental breakdown thing to, or what they say. A, a mental breakdown that he had and then so all right so now I, I, i've been going back and i'm looking at these keemstar videos and i'm looking at uh a lot of the things that they that he was saying these suicidal thoughts that he said he was having and to me it doesn't seem like he was crazy to me it did not seem like he was crazy it seemed like he's fucking he seemed like he was typical Etika, like, Etika's always, he's crazy, like, but not, like, gonna harm himself that crazy, like, and when the police came and broke down his door, now, this is what I was, when I first learned about Etika, I, I was just amazed, like, how he's so popular, this black man is so popular, and just, like, he's just, like, a, a clean-cut guy. And they they can really do nothing to this guy, and then I and I never really thought anything about it. And then when I seen them, the the cops break down his door, I was like, all right, they want to hurt this guy. I think I think they've been wanting to do something to this guy for a long time, but he's just been so clean cut that they couldn't couldn't really do anything to him. But now that he he was trying to take on this new character, uh, trying to act like the Antichrist or whatever he was trying to do. But he was, he he was pushing the wrong people buttons, and he said the wrong thing to them. Now that if you find his body, they can say, "Oh well, look, he said these suicidal things, and so that he killed himself." I don't believe he killed himself. I believe he laid the groundwork down for for them to kill him, and now it can be covered up easily. But I believe that I believe that he was not suicidal. I don't, I don't think that. He did that to himself. I mean, I've, I've followed this guy for a long time. You could look. I don't know, man. i seen the last video. It's kind of, I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to figure out a way to justify this shit happening because it just doesn't make any sense to me. I've seen the last, you know, goodbye video that he made, that I'm sorry video. But to me, I just don't think that he would have did that. You know, I, it just just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. And uh, I don't know, it's just kind of crazy because it's like this is like my world of like video games and whatever. And it's just invaded by this craziness. But I really believe that there's something else is going on because when you you listen to him talk and all the things that people were saying that he's so crazy, but he's so crazy. He's talking about eating salad and fasting and like, how how is that crazy? That's not crazy at all. It just seemed like he was saying a lot of shit that, pick, that, he, that he was like, I think he was trying to get to another level. You know what I'm saying? Like he was trying to break through this little glass ceiling that he was under. And, and I think it was working too. Like he was trying to get to the point where he's the number one YouTuber. You know, I don't think it was a no suicide shit. I really don't think. I think he was trying to tick some boxes and, and like make people to to look at him you know it was just for attention but he got the wrong kind of attention and i think that's what ultimately was his downfall it was the wrong kind of attention you know when they came and tried to knock his door down that was a red flag right there and and i believe that he once they they looked at what he was saying and only throwing all the things he was saying, what he was trying to do, he was a marked man. And uh that's my opinion on the on the on the whole thing. I think that 
I think he was killed. I don't believe he would have killed himself. I think he was taken out because he was, he was get, he was he was getting too big. Like he was he was trying to break through the glass ceiling, and they didn't want him to to wake people up on the mass scale. And that's what he I think that's what he was trying to do. When you listen to what he was saying about how you got to eat and become God and all this stuff, the stuff wasn't crazy. I mean, the whole Antichrist thing that sounds crazy, but everything else it just it, it just made sense. So I don't see, and it, I don't see how he would kill himself. He didn't seem like that type of person. He, he had a lot to live for. So that's my theory. You let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace, Hotep, the Black Man is God. I'm out.